Mmm, smoker. Oh, what the hell's going on? Blocking up the road, cutting grass. So what's up guys? Today we're going to do a walk around of the bike. I'm going to show you the mods that I've done and the parts that I have installed on the bike. I will leave a link to all these parts in the description below. So if you're interested, take a look. I'll tell you a thing that chaps my ass. I found out earlier this week. I went to get some uh, new pegs for my forward controls. And for some reason, Harley has made the, the ears on the forward controls. One is longer than the other. So you can't install an aftermarket peg. You have to use the Harley peg that is designed for the offset ears. I will show you what I'm talking about when I do the walk around of the bike. And uh, it, it's very, it's very unfortunate that they did that. What's up? So, you know, so I started looking and I got basically, I guess, three options. I can purchase the Harley pegs that are designed specifically for this Ford control system on my iron. Or DK Customs makes a, an adapter kit that makes them, you know, equal in length so you can use anybody's peg. That thing's like a hundred and something dollars to do and I have a hard time spending that after I've already, I think these things were like $300 to begin with. So. And my other option is to take a grinder and grind the damn thing down, which I will probably end up doing. But uh, I don't know, kind of a rant there, kind of pissed me off. I can't believe that they would do that to where you're hemmed into their pegs only. But I don't know, it is hot as hell out here. But I gotta go up and get some Petro first and then I'm going to find a parking lot to do a little walk around for you guys. Hopefully with not a lot of people so everybody won't think I'm a, a little crazy out there walking around my bike uh, taking video and talking to myself. Look at that narcissist. But zero F's are given so I will do it anyway. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to Ride with Gunk. Hey man, I appreciate uh, the subscription and liking all my videos and the quick replies to comments. If you guys aren't following Ride with Gonk, I would suggest you go there and check out his site. It's, it's pretty cool. And I just want to thank all the subscribers that I do have. I don't have a lot, but I appreciate the ones that I do. So thanks guys. Thanks for uh, subscribing and following along. And for you guys watching the video that haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, man. I would appreciate it. Didn't make it. Damn. I will sit here in the heat and watch the cars go by. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's the fuzz. Gonna need to get some gasoline. Alright, let's see if we can't find some place to do a walk around. There's gotta be a place around here somewhere. I will find it. We'll go right over here in this parking lot. It is empty. Alright guys, this is uh this is it. This is my 2016 Iron 883. So we'll do a little walk around here so you guys can check it out and then I'll go over all the accessories that I have added in the mods so all right well, let's start right up front as you can see what I've done I've got a daymaker knockoff from Amazon great lights like 49 bucks I'll definitely leave the link for that I did the Harley Davidson turn signal relocation kit I have installed magnum shield and copper canyon cabling, uh, clutch, throttles, and front brake. I have installed, let me walk around here, 
I have installed the Bitwell Frisco handlebars. I run the Bitwell grips also. And under here, there is a Bitwell whiskey throttle tube that, can, that holds the throttle cables and the grip slides on. These things are great. They're like 16, 17 bucks. They're really inexpensive. I've done the flush mount gas cap. I flipped the mirrors upside down. I've installed the Mustang Tripper Solo seat. I have a video on that already. I have done the one piece detachable HD Solo bar. Custom Dynamics LED inserts. The Harley Davidson LED fender light. I have installed passenger pegs. I have done a Fanson Hines short shot. I actually have two sets of these. I have one in black and one in chrome. Uh, after I got the black, I decided I want the chrome heat shields. And Vanson Hines, it was like $280, $90 just for the heat shields. So I just went ahead and ordered another exhaust. That way I have an extra. I have done the forward pegs, forward controls. Here's the thing I was talking to you about. As you can see, this ear is shorter than this ear. So you can't use a standard peg because it won't allow it to go in. As you can look at this one, same size. And you, you have just a, I don't know, an A 3 16 clearance there. Well, with this, you don't have that clearance, so it doesn't fit. So you either got to grind this down or change these out. I don't know, kind of shitty, but it is what it is. Under here, this is the stock air filter, but under here there is a Vance & Hines naked uh, high output air cleaner. This is just the stock cover, kind of a sleeper look. I kind of dig it. Uh, I have done a DK Customs tank lift, inch and a half. Over here on this side of the bike, I have done the DK Customs coil and ignition relocation. I did cut off the tab for the uh, ignition. I kept it where it was, so I cut that tab off and grind it down, ground it down, and put a little spray paint on it. The Screaming Ingles spark plug wires. And the ignition, what I did is I took the stock bracket that was already on there, I modified it, I cut it off and just mounted it right where it was originally. I think with it being mounted to the engine, it got a lot of vibration and I saw some stuff online, you know the internet, uh, that the vibration sometimes uh, destroys or destroys the mechanism inside. So I didn't want that, so I kept it where it was. So it's nice and solid, didn't go anywhere. Uh, the big thing that you can't see, it just looks like a regular engine, but those cylinders are not stock. Those are hammer performance. That is the 1275 kit that I installed. So other than that, guys, just a matter of you know, little things here or there, like removing the fenders and not the fenders, the reflectors. And, you know, just little stuff that I did here and there. That is about it. So, not a lot, but I really enjoy the bike. I've, like I said in previous videos, I've gone through numerous handlebars and seats and all kinds of stuff just trying to get the bike where I want it. I think this is like version 3.0. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it now. Actually, I'm real happy with it now. I'm happy with the way it looks. I guess a bobber style. There's a moto vlogger out there, Fast Action Jacks. Check his channel out too. He does. He has a club style bike, which is pretty cool with the fairing, and he's got some uh, T bars. It's 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 a good good looking ride for sure. So if you haven't checked out his channel, give it a give it a look. It's Fast Action Jacks, J X. I do have a fairing for this bike. I have the Memphis Shades Cafe fairing. Uh, I don't know. I take it on and off. I can't decide if I like it on there or not. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's my bike. I am sweating my ass off. So anyway, guys, I'm probably just going to end it here. I'm heading home now. so. I appreciate you guys watching and listening to me ramble. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button for me. I'd appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, 
please do that. There should be a little button down in the right hand corner of the screen that'll subscribe you right up so you can get all the new videos coming out. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching and as always, ride safe and be careful out there. Later.